Um, but yeah, this doesn't change anything, and I just feel it gives us uh, makes us a much better team and doesn't hurt our cap like it would have. Kyle, what were your conversations with Trey like, and, and how did he kind of uh, take it in when this became official? Uh, Trey was great. I mean, there was not there was no problems with it at all. I mean, I was I told him the exact same things that I told Jimmy. Um, why we were the options of bringing Jimmy here that it had to be in a, a backup type deal, uh, which um, Jimmy knew that was his option and that was the only option. And we told that to Trey also. And I mean, Trey and Jimmy have a great relationship. I think Trey, I, Trey actually likes having Jimmy in the building, and Trey was very grateful how Jimmy was to him last year. And we feel very strongly from the two people that Trey, will, um, Jimmy will. Um, give that back to Trey this year. They'll do for um, Trey what Jimmy did for him in the year before. We have zero worries about him not having a playbook. Um, I don't have one either. Um, um, We have zero worries about that. Putting him through a workout, that's what he goes through every single day. Um, He goes through that. He's been out here. I mean, he's been throwing with players at times. I mean, he's been our rehab players. He's been doing everything. So, um, you know, there's quarterbacks that have been signed off the couch. Um, go look at Josh McCown. I mean, guy's been signed off the couch in week 10 and come in and play for people. So that's not at all our case at all. Um, Jimmy's been here. He's been rehabbing. He's in great shape. He's ready to go. Of course you love if you – of course you would love for your backup quarterback to get reps in training camp, but that was not an option at the time um, at all. This wasn't an option until – um, I think Jimmy saw all the other situations, and once that final preseason game ended, um, I'm glad that what he thought was the best option for him was a great option for us. The, the last thing I'd add on his, on his readiness is that, you know, while doctors cleared him with no restrictions, there was the added caveat that hey, it, it would be a smart thing to, to really build him up, and, and uh, this allowed him to do that and, and kind of and not be rushed on the field. Sometimes stuff just happens, so more of a controlled environment. And so I think Jimmy felt good about that, as did we. And so um, you know, I think he said, uh, well, he's past the end of that that ramp up, and so I think that leaves him in really good position. Jimmy's played a lot of football, and so. Um, you know, that we, we believe he's ready. And not to mention, we didn't think it was going to end up this way. And we wanted to give Trey a ton of reps, and then we wanted to find out about Nate and Brock also. And and we wanted to do that because we thought that's how it was going to be. And we thought there was no way that um, someone in the league would have come with a, a better opportunity um, so that Jimmy thought was a better opportunity. And fortunate for us, they didn't. And I'm very glad that we got all those other guys, the reps that really helped those guys. It helped us learn a lot about those guys too. And um, now we got a guy coming in here that we know a lot about. He knows a lot about us. Our team knows a lot about him. And I think that makes us very excited. It makes our team excited. I guess we'll give you guys a little, uh, you can get your Twitter thumbs ready. First one wins, uh, you know, uh, Brock has earned his way on our roster. So he'll be on the roster as well on the 53. Go ahead, Grant, ask questions. (laughs) 